tonight, a warning and fear. A new report shows there won't be enough direct care workers for dementia patients. Now, Milena Brown spoke with specialists to discuss what can be done for patients and families. She's joining us now live. So, Milena, is this an effect of COVID? Lisa, it very, very well could be. When I spoke with the Dayton Alzheimer's Association, they tell me they can't give a specific reason for losing healthcare workers. But as we all know, burnout after COVID has had a huge impact on the entire healthcare field. We are seeing that there is definitely um, a shortage now, and that shortage is just going to increase. This year, the Alzheimer's Association released a report where they estimate that one and a half million additional workers will be needed between 2020 and 2030. We're also finding that, you know, more people are getting dementia and the need for more of those health care workers and those direct care workers are greatly increasing. Barnett tells me a lack of workers leads to a constant rotation, which doesn't benefit patients. You know, change is bad for people with Alzheimer's and dementia. So the more consistency you can have, a consistent home health care worker, consistent, you know, STNA or nurse in a facility, that makes all the difference in the world and, and really does help, the, you know, the caregivers as well. And while dementia is more common in older adults, more and more people are getting diagnosed at a younger age. Usually in senior adults, but it can happen, unfortunately, as early as in you know, the 40s and 50s. The process of dementia can start decades before symptoms, but there are ways to keep your mind sharp. Routines, journaling, calendars, reminders, everything and anything that we can do to support, you know, that slow memory loss happening uh, can be very, very helpful. Fortunately, the Alzheimer's Association is there to help. We sit down with families and do care consultations. So we look at where their um, loved one is now in the process, where they could go, um, start giving them resources for now and in the future. Families are also encouraged to seek additional emotional support like therapy, as dealing with the loss of a loved one's memory can be difficult for everyone involved. Back to you.